Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Tony Northrup. And you're watching Tony and Chelsea Live. And this episode is brought to you by us. The <laughs> all-in-one us for creating us. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess we'll just get right into it. This week, we're, our, our topic of discussion is photography hacks. So those weird tricks that you learn, uh, stuff you made instead of bought, Weird things you stuck on your flash, odd lights that you might have built, ways yeah. to modify your lenses. We'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, just write them right in the YouTube comments. And our screener, Siobhan, who's working out of Philly, will paste them into a document for us and we'll read them and respond live. Hi, Siobhan. <laughs> uh, you wanted to, oh, after that we'll review your photos and maybe a portfolio or two. Mostly we're going to be doing photos today, but we have a new thing. What? You can go to sdp.io slash submit and drag a photo in there instead of having to send us a link to your Flickr or something. Oh, oh. You'll actually drag a photo and then it will magically appear in Lightroom. That makes me real nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great to experiment with the live format, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Okay, well, I admire your bravery and I want to talk about these photography hacks right away because I found some cool ones. Okay, go for it. What did you find? Uh, well, we did this little ring light thing these last couple of days. Oh, that's too big. Let me start with my little stuff. Okay. Um, first of all, I read somewhere that you can use a cookie sheet as a background. And I was like, that seems ridiculous. And I tried it, and it's actually pretty cool. It makes a, a textured background. My cookie sheet's disgusting, but in, in this case, that's actually a good thing. Yeah, this is your example here. And just... I wish I'd shown the photo before you brought up the actual cookie sheet because in the photo it's out of focus and looks perfect. It's just like a patina kind of perfectly manicured aged wall. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, good hack. And the other thing that I found was um, to get, well, how do you say it? We always say it wrong just because we forget how to pronounce things. Bokeh? Bokeh, but somebody's going to complain anyway. No, there's some. They know what we mean. I know. They get really kind of on our case, if you want to be honest. Yeah, you shut up, you pronunciation snobs. I don't care. Oh! Bokeh! Oh! <laughs> you went there. Well, like, all you have to do, you can do it with construction paper, but I found this um, piece of black plastic in the bottom of one of those recyclable grocery bags, you know, like from Stop and Shop, and I cut a little heart in it, and um, can you see it, Justin? Do you want to zoom in on my face cam? So we can show them? Um, I can. No. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's a prime lens. Oh, like that? And then um, you just put it over your lens, and if you have lights in the background, it makes bouquet in the shape of whatever you carve in the front. So I did a heart, and um, I got distracted by another project. So I didn't actually take the picture, but it's pretty cool. It's cheap. It costs zero dollars. That is pretty cool, and that reminds me of one of my favorites, which is uh, pinhole photography. You take that useless body cap that comes with your camera so yeah. that you'll usually have a lens on it anyway and you just drill a hole in it and then you cover it up with something like aluminum foil or tape and then you poke an even smaller hole in that hole yeah and you end up with this tiny little hole and it makes very cool pictures and well we have a full video coming out um, but you can so you can take pictures without a lens at all and especially with new mirrorless cameras you can even use the vi viewfinder and everything like it lets through very very little light it would be something like f64 Whoa. So you're usually operating at a high ISO or you're using really long shutter speed, but well, stay tuned. Pinhole cameras are super, super cool. Anyway, write your own hacks in the comments. Siobhan will put them into the comments document. Uh, Chelsea, you now have that and you can check the comments. Is this for me? On the iPad, yeah. Why didn't anybody tell me? While you're doing that, I will show off a picture that you just took. Oh, yeah. Right there, 500. Oh, yeah, that's, we probably I put seen the other this one picture. Too. Um, yeah, this is what Chelsea's been working on this afternoon. Pretty cool. That's our friend Alexis, who's just off camera over there enjoying a beer uh, and also using our new uh, ring light hack, which we totally hacked together. Pretty cool picture, Chelsea. I love the texture in it, and I can't believe you cranked that out in just a couple of hours. Great costume and everything, too. I love the feathers. Thank you. Yeah, That's nicely all done. Stuff. Really striking. And and Allie, just great expression out of you. It's so hard to be a model. People Allie just is think an the actress. model stands there, but so she had so many great expressions 
Yeah, and, and every model has to be an actress, whether or not they're trained in it. You have to figure it out because you have to call on expressions right away. That's what models do. Models have to be comfortable in front of camera. It's it's acting. Yeah, it so was yeah, really actors are the best. It was fun to work with her because she really understood, like my vision. Mm -hmm. You know, she came into it realizing it was something that I was envisioning, and she was on board the whole time. And then she really just brought this character that I made to life, and it was so cool to watch her do it. So. Thank you, Allie. Yeah, you're awesome a, job, You're a stand-up gal. <laughs> Does anybody have any photography hacks there, Charles? Put a piece of paper with a shape cut. Hey, I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just stealing our hacks. Don't forget to read the name. Um, that's Kyle Wolf. Kyle Wolf and I are on the same page here. He had this. He said that you can just do it with a piece of paper, though. Um, I think that the piece of paper would have to be black. So. Yeah, or it would bounce a bunch of light back into the lens. And it has to go over the lens. So yeah, you just need a piece of paper, but I think the rest of it is just there to hold it on the lens. An A3 sheet of printer paper and an elastic band on top of the flash, says Vincent. What's that do? Just to, to diffuse the light? Yeah, it would be a lot like that rogue flash bender that we have. Yeah. Just, you just, so you just tape a piece of paper oh. do you know, on your flash and you bounce it up and it acts like a big white card. I like stuff like that way better than fancy gear. Oh, I know. And, and in fact, you know what made me think of hacks was that time we had that Gary Fong light modifier. Yeah. And we were all like, I could just definitely do this with a piece of Tupperware or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't tell Gary Fong that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Guys, don't tell Gary Fong. That would really hurt his feelings. Well, keep writing in the comments. Your photography <laughs> hacks will come back to that in a little bit. I see a couple of people have sent us pictures. So you want to jump into Lightroom and take a look at sure, some pictures? Sure, sure. All right. Okay. Uh, 21 pictures already. <laughs> Woo. Um, they're coming in so fast. Stop. Whoa. Okay. Um, this is a very cool picture. That's an amazing costume. Um. Went away. Uh-oh. <laughs> This is the first time we tried this, and so I hadn't tested this with a barrage of new photos, but... Okay, we'll go back to Spider-Man. Um, Does he even have spider shoes? Oh, no, that's his thumb over his shoe. Well. Um, awesome. Very cool. It must be a comp, or this is the real Spider-Man. I love the costume. <laughs> it's all perfect. I, I can't even think of what else yeah, to say about it. that's really cool. I love his pose. He got into it. Yeah, nicely done. Here's the first picture that came in. So this is like kind of a formal portrait. Cool, this person's mm -hmm. a pianist and wanted to be... What'd you just call her? Grow up. Oh, maybe later. No, but I think it's a great photo. And what I like about it is that there is a picture, a, a piano in the photo, but it doesn't overpower the portrait. It's just kind of like suggestive of a piano. I yeah, like and I like the angle to her shoulder, shoulders, too. I love that her hair is going over her shoulder. I mean, the only thing I can think to suggest for it is to make Ooh, the lighting just a God. little more dramatic. Because, I don't know, it is such a serious thing playing mm -hmm. the piano. But, I don't, I don't know, That's I'm just trying to come up with a suggestion. I think it's a okay. great shot. I like that. So here Spooky. we have a night landscape photo. We have some brake lights trailing off into the distance here. Uh, I feel like... Who like knew? A, Who knew this would be a I problem? I want to turn off the <laughs> Can I just that anticipate to our the... comments for you, Tony? <laughs> I tried to watch your video, but my, I couldn't. Unsubscribe. <laughs> there, there is an option to make it not do Everyone's this, laughing because they read To make comment. it not switch to the latest one upon <laughs> import. Um, and I don't have that option turned on. But I don't want to take the time to try to find it because I forget okay. exactly where it is. So we'll get that fixed in a little bit. But this is, <laughs> any, uh, no, no new comments. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling nervous? All right, so this is what I like about the picture. I love the mood, I love the fog. I love that they did the long exposure. Uh, my only problem with it is that um, it's, see, there's this leading line with those tail lights, and it doesn't lead to much or or the subject is kind of overpowered by a lot of other things in the photo because there's like a roof cutting into the picture and um, a few distracting elements in the background. So maybe I'd even just crop it down a little bit so that the photo ended at the house that the the taillights lead up to. You see what I'm saying? 
Yeah, it, so it needs to be cropped a lot or something because there's just there's just a lot of nothing here. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's just a lot of negative. There are space a lot of that distractions. Interesting. If you put yeah. the camera right next to the road and had the car going right past you, that would add a lot of depth to the picture. And then the subject would be these lines, and they might My be mouth. leading to the house. But yeah, move it over, get next to the road, um, and just find a way to get really tight on it. Oh, this is not locked. Sorry. Now you're locked square. Gosh darn it. We are just two crazy peas in a pod tonight, Tony. Bless your heart. All right. Press enter. So that's already better, but some things you can't change in post, and I would love to have the photographer right next to the road, the car going right past him, and then the line leading right into the house. Something to think about. Here we have a singer. I like that picture. Worth a million. Yeah, that's a great shot. You know, there's only so much you can do. I, I wish we could see more of her hair. You could try to bring could... up the shadows and see if there's something in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, you got that? No, I, I don't. Yeah, see, there's, yeah, that's already much better. We got to be able to see her hair. It was all lost. Um, other than that, great shot. Little post helped out. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. Okay. I love this picture. Yeah, that I is really cute. I love the gentle cute. folds. It was a perfect focal point. He's adorable. Look at his pollen-filled body and his cute little antennas. Yeah, this is so much better than a typical flower picture. We always say with flower pictures, you have to add a focal point. It's got to be special. And you did it. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And the colors are great. They really pop. Nice you done. nailed it. Switch just in time for us. Speaking of focal points, this picture definitely needs a focal point, right? I think it's the tree, but maybe um, a shallower depth of field. I recognize that picture from 500 Pix. Oh, really? Pixels, whatever I, it's called. I love a stark photo like this. We're at a second and a half, so it's a long exposure. I love the perfect symmetry of it. There was a different version a up there, but yeah. Um, I wouldn't even mind seeing, oh, really, some more processing or something? Yeah, they did. They, I think if this is the same person, I think it is. They processed it more. Do you think um, a little... No? I'm against that. Okay. Well, you're not right about everything. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to challenge that. Uh, oh, look at that sassy bird. <laughs> that bird was crazy. This is working great. It's sinking just really, really. The sinking part is working fantastic. So it's sinking. <laughs> it, well, let's just try to go with it. Sometimes in life, you just can't fight everything. There's a tree. Yeah, I love the sunset. Silhouette. Here a we king have a fisher. kingfisher. This head out there, you want to crop that down a little bit, get tighter on this guy. Yeah. There's not enough of the other bird to, to fully show the interaction. But if you had another picture of them flying, you could comp it in there. Yeah, the colors are vivid. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, people's uploading, oh, their uploads are pacing us. So this needs to be cropped a little tighter. Uh, but overall, I, I think it's a beautiful flowers. photo. Yeah, keep some of those flowers in there, but get nice and tight. I feel like I really elk. know his hindquarters well. <laughs> um, a Swiss chalet, perhaps. Yeah, a, a beautiful landscape. I don't like this this blue thing down here. And other than that, there's a, there's a lot of roof for me. I feel like the roof yeah. is in the way of the mountains. Yeah, that you, I would like to see. Maybe try to put a llama on the roof. I don't know. Wait for something special, like maybe you have. Well, you don't ask the sun. for much. <laughs> in the upper corner here. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I like this uh, ADD photo review. This is actually more my speed. Well, this is just quaint. Oh, look, <laughs> a plant. Those are succulents. Yeah, that. I don't like the gas station in the background. Yeah, that that's what your eye goes right to. I would just think about the background when you compose. But Move to the side a little bit. I do bit. love the plant, and I even love the composition of them along the edge of the frame. Well, that was just the Chrysler building. Level the horizon. Bring up those shadows. Um, also, you, read Chapter 10 in Studying Digital Photography for information on how to properly expose night photos because that yeah. just needed to be exposed more. Right. Go out earlier in the day, right after sunset. You'll get better overall exposure. Uh, backlit leaves are pretty. Yeah, there's a, there's a photo in the book almost exactly like this yeah. as an example of backlighting. But it is. You get to see all the, the flesh of the leaves, it's the minimalist. veins. That would have been a good time to use my little bouquet thing. Because mm. then they would have had little heart shapes in the background. Yeah, in the specular highlights. I don't know that that's the right I crop, but I would that. like to see it a little tighter. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, my gosh, that cat's cute. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay. I'm starting to get nauseous. <laughs> All right, you want to read some comments? I'll see if I can get this option turned off. Um, placed prism over the flash to create different colors of light flash from Dave Baker. So, like, um, I guess you're talking about, like, an improv gel, right? That's a good idea. We just had someone in the group put up a picture with two different colored gels, and it looked really good. And Mr. T-Plex says, use a stone to tilt the camera on the ground slash balcony to get sky shots. Use a stone. I'm going to need a picture of that, Mr. T-Plex. Um, and then we have some <laughs> questions. One from Royal Family 2011. Which lens would be better for traveling to Paris? 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter? Um... Is that are those your only choices? <laughs> like I find when I'm traveling, I don't like to carry a ton of lenses, so I like a, a zoom because then you could go to both extremes. You could go wide angle if you want a city shot, or if you want to take some street photography, you could do 50 millimeters. If you were taking a portrait, you could zoom in. So um, I like to have some diversity, but I guess if I had to choose between those two, I can't even say. What do you like to take pictures? We also of? don't know what format camera they have. Whether it's full frame or okay. APS-C, but we need more information. We'll from pretend you. it's full frame. Full frame. I mean, I guess the thirty-five millimeter because you can always crop, but with the fifty millimeter, that's a little tight. They're they're both good, but I don't know. The streets in Paris are really wide angle. You're always you always want to be wider angle in Paris. So I'm going thirty-five. Okay. But I would definitely pick the zoom. I would. That's what zooms are choose for. Choose option C. Something zoom. else. Yeah. Okay, this one's from Anna Carolina. I'm in a wheelchair and my pictures are always low, like everything since hi higher than me. What could I do to get better shots? Um, well, I, I think it's cool that your shots are unique. Like you're getting a totally different perspective than the rest of us. And I think that's really interesting. So I think that you should just be you. And uh, I think you're, you're blessed in a sense because I see so many pictures that just look the same. So work what you've got. I'd say go for it. Yeah, I mean, that's true for, for all of us. We have different resources available to us. And I think during the learning stages, you spend a lot of time replicating other people's yeah. work and trying to figure out the basics. And, and especially if you're doing something, uh, if, you're, if you have different capabilities, then that's going to be a challenge for you. But uh, in the end, you, you do what you have, you do with what you have, and it's going to end up unique. And you'll go in a different direction. Yeah. And that's good. We need more of that because we yeah. see the same pictures all the time. Should, you should send in your pictures. I'd love to see those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Kyle Wolf, you again, Kyle Wolf says, full frame or APS-C? I, I prefer full frame. Yeah, I mean, it's not that simple of a question. I mean, APS-C is going to be the right answer for most people, but <laughs> the only reason to go full frame really is lens availability. But there are so many more lenses available full frame for Canon and Nikon DSLRs. So there's other full frame formats, but if you want great lenses, Go for Canon and Nikon full frame DSLRs. They have an infinite amount of lenses, far more than any other format. Cool. That's, That's all it. we got. Okay. What, what about the um, Corey Pine Tech question? Oh, That's more, relevant, right? More loading. Tony Chelsea, have either of you messed with Wi Fi tethering shooting? Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Yes. It, it sucks. Uh, we're in the process of recording a Lightroom video training series, and it's probably going to be like 20 hours. It's going to be a long thing. And we just did the tethering section. Yeah. And so it forced me to use like several different cameras to make the Wi-Fi tethering work. And, and yeah, it, it sucks. Pretty much all tethering sucks unless you have... You mean it's unreliable? It's, it's unreliable. It's, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. It's slow. So you, you think you're going to take a picture and it's going to pop up. Not generally the case. Generally, you take a picture and you wait four to five seconds and then it pops up. So it, well, especially with Wi-Fi, you need to be shooting JPEG because the file sizes for RAW are oh, just too just much. they're just too big to transfer. So it's just, it's not a very fast method of connecting. And you know, most cameras don't support like the, even the faster wireless protocols like 802.11n. So it ends up slow and kind of sucky so no I don't I'm not a huge you're fan. saying maybe wait a few years yeah except we've been waiting a few years and they just <laughs> never have gotten better at it 
Um, but yeah, you can configure, basically, you, <laughs> Lightroom doesn't support Wi-Fi tethering, but your camera should have some app that allows you to drop pictures onto a folder on a computer, and then you use the Lightroom auto import, and that will pull them in automatically. So that simulates it, but you can't really control the camera like you can with wired tethering. Sorry, I get distracted Thanks by the comments. Thanks for jumping in, Justin. Someone commented, Chelsea, hashtag blessed. Was that you, Allie? <laughs> no. <laughs> blessed? Why? Just because of me? No, the, probably not that. <laughs> Jason B, for his photography hack, said he, um, you can use a monita, monopod and cam ranger or hook phone to camera via trigger trap or other and shoot from different angles. Wait, what did I just read? Can use monopod and cam ranger or hook phone to camera via trigger trap or other and shoot from different angles. <clears throat> okay, so with a monopod you could say hold the camera over your head, but then you wouldn't be able to see the display. So he's suggesting a cam ranger, which is a wireless display. Like, it's like you can see the live view. Yeah. On your camera with a cam ranger, and then I guess you could move the camera somewhere else to get a weird angle and see it. That's, we do this actually. That's a photography hack. Yeah, I guess. But we don't use the cam ranger. We just tilt the articulating screen down. I don't know what's going on with R2-D2 over there. What is that? Just, Justin's just beeping like crazy. What the beep, Justin? Too many beeps. Too many beeps. Um, MRC4NL says, sometimes I put a sock over a flash when I need to diffuse the light. That sounds Stinky. <laughs> Especially when the, the flash stinky. warms up a little bit. <laughs> it's probably clean, but can you imagine if he had some foisty gym sock and everyone's like, what is that? Yeah, that, that, that probably works, but if you hired a wedding photographer, you wouldn't be thrilled if they showed up with... I would. I actually would. I'd be like, check out my photog, old stink sock over there. So I'm into that one, and I'm going to try that. Um, while you're looking at the comments, I just wanted to show off the slide camera straps, which we mentioned before, um, but I had never actually hooked them up. But uh, right now, this is my current favorite camera strap, and we're doing a full review. Um, but what? what I wanted, what I really like about them is they attach on two points using the standard strap mounts, and you can easily disconnect and reconnect them. So I like to take the strap off when I'm working on a tripod. Um, but I don't like those tripod mounted straps because my camera swings around. So this gives me exactly what I want. So thanks, Slide. Um, you can look up <laughs> Peak Design Limited and uh, they'll sell those to you. What else you got there, Charles? I don't know. Sometimes Javon sends me hidden messages in here and they're funny. Um, <laughs> Tronk says, I checked out Squarespace and I liked it so well that I got two websites, one for my music and one for my photos. So I guess that says some things. Yeah, Squarespace is cool. They are not a sponsor, but we still like them. If you want to own Squarespace account, you can go to SDP or go to squarespace.com slash Tony, use the coupon code PHOTOLIVE. But again, not a sponsor. Not our sponsor today. <clears throat> want to look at some more pictures? Are they under control or? Seems like things slowed down a little bit. We probably have enough pictures for the day. <laughs> I don't know how many pictures we got. <laughs> Uh, we got 64, so that's Whoa. probably going to be playing. Whoa. Thank you for submitting these. This is a nice portrait. I um, really like this. The I lighting love her is nice casual and soft. Casual pose and the angle on the background. That's nice. Yeah, the lighting is nice. Let's zoom back out. Um, <clears throat> I like the shallow depth of field of this. It's almost tilt shifty like a miniature thing but it definitely needs to be leveled right yeah Let's i think the tilt shift was the done car. in photoshop is this are these like important people or something i, I don't know i'm trying to figure out what I, I i don't know what's the subject here what's going on i think maybe he's just showing off the tilt shift effect I yeah like it's the, definitely i like everybody F5, in the six, matching so. jackets <laughs> we need to get those crew <laughs> This is a cool landscape, and we can see some stars up here, so I appreciate that. Nice 30-second exposure. The exposure needs to be brought up. Do it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, just look at this histogram. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, that looks awesome. Yeah, that's, that's already much better. You almost always want the snow to be white. 
you know, just because it's night doesn't mean the picture itself should be dark. It, right. it really shouldn't. Um, it's going to look even darker to other people, pretty much. Uh, we'll drop the blacks a little bit, just show a little more of the sky. I don't like these protrusions here at the bottom. Oh. Don't you think? You'd I do out? like them. No, <laughs> she doesn't. No, I do. You're messing up my picture. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks for getting out so there at much night. No. Um, so we have kind of a street photography. Oh, this is from New Jersey, just like Richard. My pleasant Jenkins. You know that, huh? Yeah, he knows know these that. things. I've been there. He had a hot dog there in 1972. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It so, was good. What do you think of the picture, Richard? I like it a lot. Uh, I wish the, the stuffed animal, whatever that is. It's a balloon. balloon. It's a balloon, yeah. I wish it were a little more, I don't know. A little more clarity, I guess. Okay. Richard, Richard likes says, it. He wishes the balloon were clear or a hot dog. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, sorry, oh, that cat. <clears throat> oh. Cool. Cool angle. Nice and tight on the eye. Incredible detail. Their eyes are crazy, right? Yeah. I was studying cat eye biology for some reason. Why were you doing that? It's just, it's really interesting. They have all these features in their eye, like reflective surfaces, and they're able to gather so much more light than our really? eyes are. And, What's and in there? And you see a lot of that. It, it might be a little off topic. <laughs> okay. But it's cool. Um, so here too, shadows, right? We just want to see some more detail in there. Oh, not really any shadows to recover Can you bring up this. the exposure a little bit? Yeah, I'll try that. Ooh. Very spooky. Um, but I, I feel like my eye kind of hunts around. My eye lands in this blue spot down here. But I don't know. Could use one other thing. This um, is unusual. Yeah. I like the colors. I like your nail polish. I find it a little frustrating because your eye naturally follows the line of what people are looking at. And in that last picture, you would look down the camera basically and look to see what the person was taking a picture of. But then you're not rewarded because it's all out of focus. I like this poppy shot. Oh, it's a poppy. Yeah, that is very cool. Whoa, I love this lamb shot. I love this. If I've said it before, but I like this fast pace as well. I'm liking a lot today. Yeah, that is a cool lamb. I, I it, it looks like a, a portrait. It's very nice. I'm gonna he paid turn off for that. Import, so it was lamb currency. <laughs> That's really beautiful. We saw this, but didn't get a chance to talk about it. I, I love it. I love all the I colors. I like parts of it. Like I like the picture, but I don't like that he's ruining that blanket. That's not yours, cat. Yeah, cats are kind of a pain that way. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind seeing it tightened up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Better, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tony, yeah great shot. You great know moment. Some things. Goldfish koi pond. I, I don't know. Nothing. I like it. Let's bring up the seems exposure. Seems unbalanced. I wish there was something over here. My eye kind of searches that area and nothing comes up. You just want the, oh, you want the whole exposure. Oh, I like I those I ripples. Yeah, I just, yeah. Might want a different composition on it. All right, got a viper. Cool shot. Uh, what? I feel like they, they left space in front of the subject, which is a common thing because it's kind of pointing into that area. But I feel like it needs one other thing, which might be a kicker light behind it. Or, you know, if you had a smoke machine or some smoke bombs, put them here and have those headlights illuminate them. That would be really cool and, and lead the eye through the frame a little bit. Um, one nice trick about, one trick for night photography, especially with cars or any still subject, is you can do light painting. Pull out a flashlight and walk around the car and shine it on the car while the shutter is open. And then it's like you have as many lights as you want. Because you can use one flashlight and create 20, That's a 30, photography or an hack. number of light sources. You're just bringing it back around. Yeah, exactly. And so night photography for cars and stuff, is it's the best way to do it. Because you can get infinite control over the light. And wet the pavement. Yes, wet the point, pavement for reflections, right. And, and I wish there was something in the sky here, too. I'd rather see Birds. the cities. Snakes. <laughs> Good suggestion. <laughs> I was thinking like a city skyline. Oh. Or stars or something. 
but just you're blackness. Just, you're hard to read. I thought favorite. you were going to say snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this picture. I feel like it's a little oversaturated. The green's too much, right? Um, I think that's what they felt when they were there. But I'll agree. You know, it's kind of stylized. It's like almost... Is this selective oh, color? I think it is spot color. I don't know why they took the color out of the water. It's interesting, and I think I like it. Is that a kestrel? Kestrel? I think so, with these kind of uh, fang marks down its face. Yeah, beautiful shot. Great detail. Let's bring out the shadow so I can see in his eyes. Oh, see how sparkly they got? Yeah, look, you can even see the people around them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice shot. Good exposure. Uh, I think way I too much this vignetting. person from last week. Tigar likes it. Oh, I think maybe they vignetted to try to hide the cage. Oh. You okay, can just so select the background and blur it, too. <clears throat> That's another option. Yeah, but, uh, like, of the face... Of looks the face. great. Oh, maybe I'd crop it right down to that. Yeah, you could Gee even just go for a, a tighter crop. Otherwise, I think all the darkness gets kind of distracting. Like Tony always says, crop it like it's hot. Crop it like it's hot. Uh, very cool. These are zebra bees. Seriously? I don't know. You are getting way too good at BSing. I know. Yeah, this is a very cool shot. Very cool bugs. Look at this guy. He's like perfectly in flight. Yeah, fantastic that's, detail. That's interesting. I, I like that shot. You know, it, it's not, it doesn't have a good thumbnail. It wouldn't no. be successful in 500 picks. It wouldn't be but successful. But if you take the time to explore it, <laughs> you will be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Dump trick. I like the straightforward square composition, the symmetry of it. I'm really into this photo, actually. Yeah, I like it too. I would process it all Instagrammy, and then people will think you're deep. Give it a name, like, Squandered Childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Good suggestion, Charles. Oh, this is like a fantastic example of street photography. This is really a compelling subject. Um, I, I don't know why it's a little bit underexposed. Might as well brighten that up a little bit. Um, and I'm distracted by this uh, weird spot up here, but that's easily... Just a little bit of solar flare. Perfecto, right? I love the leading line through it, the action. Fantastic shot. Maybe my you favorite speak shot Italian so far. Now? <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, we need somebody at the door. Nana Lucy. <laughs> Nana Lucy. You in a red dress. There needs to be a focal point, I don't know. otherwise There's you kind of search I around. Like about it. This car is half. I in maybe there. I take the car out, but I like it. It's real slice lifey. I like this line, and I like the sky. So th those are like key elements that I really enjoy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just saying that this is the part of the picture that I really like. This geometry, the color, the the fading here. In fact, I don't even like this metallic roof. Come on, you. You've gone rogue. <laughs> uh, I, that's not quite look, the framing that I want, but... Look, I think... You, I think this is crazy. Whoa. Whoa. A little abstract? No, you took cropping too far. <laughs> um, what time is it? 540. Oh, okay. Uh, we should go and talk about our do-it-yourself ring light um, and show off some pictures because this is something we've been working on. We have a full video forthcoming, but we're going to preview the video. It's still in the process of being edited, but you can get a sense for what it looks like and what <laughs> we've kind of made. Um, and a picture that Chelsea and I worked together to make, uh, this picture, we had a lot of success with it. That's and me. It got... Uh, to, I think, the fourth spot on 500 Yeah, but PX we had to hustle our butts off to get it there. Yeah, you did some work. 500 PX is not a free ride. No. No. <laughs> it takes more than a good picture to get you to the popular You first have to get a good picture, and then you have to submit it, and then you have to harass every person you've known since <laughs> kindergarten. And then maybe you'll make it to the front page. Yeah, so... 
Anybody can put up a picture on 500 pics. Yeah. And nobody will ever see it, no, yeah. matter, no matter what the quality. You have to get a handful of favorites and likes, and then that will put you onto the upcoming list. Mm -hmm. And some people monitor the upcoming list. And, uh, and if they like your picture, if you have a good thumbnail, top priority, this is a good thumbnail because even small, there's eye contact, simple subject, no distractions. So it's a good thumbnail to click on it and give it a favorite or a like. If you get enough of those and you can get to say, if you can get to say the top five or six pages on the popular, then some people who are browsing a little more deeply will see it and might like it. And then once you get to like the top two pages, like you have thousands and thousands of people who see it and they'll kind of take it from there. But you it, get to a point where it's like it, then it gets a life of its own. Yeah, but you got to prime that pump. You got to get started with some momentum and that pretty much takes social networking because there's, there's a fresh page where people can just monitor new pictures that are yeah. put up. But the pictures there, there are pretty bad and nobody ever, nobody ever sees your pictures. So if you don't have social networking in place to get you started, you'll never get anywhere. Um, but I do have a, another hack for 500 pics is that you have 24 hours to the minute. Is my 24 hours up? It is. So I opened this half 45 minutes ago before your 24 hours are up. Yeah. And you were number four. After Man, I should have been doing a split in my underwear. Yeah, that's a problem. You and that bubble wrap were way too many clothes to be... So conservative all the time. <laughs> um, after 24 hours, they take off a certain number of points, and then you'll never see the front page again. So oh you really God. have to so put your picture up and have a whole plan. Like, you need to immediately start that social networking so that you can maximize your 24 hours. It's a real pain. But anyway, we, we got there. We got to the fourth spot. We didn't quite make yeah. number one, uh, but I feel good about it. And I'll go ahead and open the picture up so you guys can look at it. Look at that. Uh, what did we get? Why is it not showing your score? I think it was a 99.7. Justin, would you like to roll the video? It's just what? a preview of it. It's not completely edited yet, so you'll see it ends abruptly and then colors aren't matched and stuff. But we have something that shows off our ring light set. Ooh. Questions or feedback for us before we go back to photos? Martina says, I miss your news, booze, and reviews, as do many others if you judge from the number of photos that are submitted. 
And I don't mind if you mention Squarespace during reviewing the photos. <laughs> Martina, you're my best friend for two reasons. Your understanding and your name's almost Martini. So <laughs> I can get on board with that. Okay. And uh, Jeff Singleton says, Tony, you and I have something in common. We both have beautiful wives. Winky face. Is he just Jeff Singleton. Bragging? I guess I'd high five you if I could. <laughs> Virtual high five, bro. You don't have me. Let's get that straight. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm that was a, a strong, sexist independent woman, <laughs> and I have myself. Uh huh. And you just get to stand around it. Yeah. As those guys, <laughs> we have to learn that there are a lot of things that are sexist that you don't know that are sexist. <laughs> Including that comment, apparently. <laughs> a anything else for us? Someone called me a toy this week. They called all women toys. It, they that wanted to be clear worse. that it wasn't specific That makes about me you, feel worse. Women, yeah. That's definitely sexist. <laughs> we can understand that. If I were a toy, I'd be one of those dangerous old-fashioned ones. <laughs> that burst into <laughs> flames or that when a kid licks it, they die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be the lawn dart. I survived lawn darts. Huh. I can't smell, but I survived. How many cases of beer do I send to become a name sponsor? That's Corey Piantic. I, now you're talking because Whoa. we've literally dreamed of the day that a liquor company sees us drinking and is like, these guys should just be drinking our stuff and we'll send them a case hey, of it. Hey, these alcoholics like, seem the reliable. <laughs> yeah. Um, but as a general rule, if you send us something, we will definitely consume it and show it. Yeah, well, if it's edible. If, if it's edible, we make Richard eat it first, and if he survives, then we'll all partake. Absolutely. Richard the Canary. This guy says, I thought I saw Tony in my hometown. He looked like him, save the fedora and the eye patch. Where's this <laughs> crazy pirate Tony? Because I want to get in on it. That's my undercover look. That's like my Clark oh, Kent. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fedora and eye patch. I just go as like a douchebag. <laughs> oh my God, how could you say that? What if that guy ruined his eye in a, in a dangerous fight? Um, Still the Fedora. Is there TV on an angle? They need to straighten that. Oh, we're triggering somebody's oh. OCD. Oh, you poor thing. Oh my God, what could we do about that? No. Oh, Tony is that better? Crazy. Oh, I hope that helps oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Tony, you are... Man, I don't know who I married tonight. I just don't know. Um, Alcohol is kicking in. I'm losing my mind. Royal family says zebra bees are a real thing, so... I didn't Sometimes you can that. guess animal names. Sometimes you can. Salamanders are like that. You can pretty much guess any salamander's name. Good to know. <laughs> uh, perfect forehand asks, third party or branded lens hoods? It's third party. It's a piece of plastic. Oh, you got a little with that one. <laughs> a perfect forehand also said as a photography hack, a bungee rope strap would be the perfect hack for aerial photography. Say that again. A bungee cord, a bungee rope strap would be the perfect hack for aerial photography. So you probably just hook it to your camera and throw it. But it would... It would come back down no, at a high speed. Maybe you would put it on a tree. But the property of bungee is that it's bouncy and springy. I'm just, I can't imagine. He said it. Is he saying you use it like a slingshot and fire be, it in the so air? So maybe he didn't do it. I, maybe I can't just, imagine. He's speculating. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to speculate that you would destroy your camera. Lucilia says, don't know if anyone mentioned this, but you can cut old film cases, the white ones, and use it as a diffuser on the built-in flash. Okay. So if you want to do that, just cool. go back to 1985 and buy some film. 1985? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, C. Murphy Life says, that's a lot of work, but cool results. He's probably talking about our, um, our flash video preview. And I just want to say, if you don't put in the work, you're not going to get the results. That's what mom told me. I like that we just speculate what he's complimenting us about. He's probably talking about my he's probably physique. probably talking about me. <laughs> that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Let's take a look at some pictures. I like the comments the best. People say funny things. I don't. 
know where this is. It looks like they have like, a, they built like a fake Athens or something. <laughs> Could this be real? What do you mean? Well, with all these columns. Why would that be fake? Well, because they're not in ruins. They're like, everything's brand new. It's Naboo. What's Naboo? Star Wars Episode One. Star Wars Episode One. Right. Okay, Richard su suggesting this was taken in Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> we always make guesses about the location and are often wrong. That was probably the most wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the most wrong. <laughs> He's got it back. He's got it back. <laughs> um, it's a little underexposed. I, I like these clouds to be completely brightly white. And you can see by looking at this histogram, it's not exposed to the right. You wait, want something to be white. Wait, I need to pause this for a comment. Okay. Why doesn't Tony ever talk in a Texas accent? Perfect forehand asked that. Oh, we've been Twittering a lot lately. Tweeting. You and um, Perfect Forehand? Yeah. Uh, we're name? buds. What's his real name? Well, Josh? I will talk in a Texas accent if I talk to somebody with a Texas accent for more than about I've two minutes. I've never ever heard you. Speak you haven't heard me slip accent. into it even no. when we're in Texas. Okay. I haven't. Um, it was it was trained out of me because my first real job outside of Texas, I took a, a IT consulting job when I was like 22 on Wall Street, and that was a huge transition for a guy from Pflugerville. And uh, on the very first day. My boss there pulled me into his office and he said, you need to drop the, the accent. People will think you're, and then he used a very rude word for stupid. And that was the end of the conversation. He sent me away. And I, I kind of took it to heart. And, and an, it's an unfortunate bias that people have about people with Southern accents. They, uh, outside of the South, they, they really do see this. And you know, I lived in New York and Boston after that, and I heard it time and time again when we would deal with customers or support people in the South, everybody around would kind of like roll their eyes and be like, oh, Southern people. I love the Southern accent. I think it sounds so nice. I, I do too. And it's an unfair bias. But anyway, I trained myself not to talk in a Southern accent. And, and now you can't even do it. I, no, I, I really can't do it if I tried. It, it's too bad. I like the Southern accent, Look but that's the story behind it. what did to you. I know, it ruined me. It made you into this <laughs> cold shell of a man. <laughs> All right, you can go on with this. Um, this is another picture that I feel suffers from oversaturation. It, oh, that's not, it's like the medical condition. <laughs> yeah. This photo. I know how it goes, though, because you add a little saturation and you it like looks that? better. Looks good. And then that you add a little good. more. Is this getting better or is this just me? Yeah, so we always say make your edits and then back everything off. 20, 30, depending on how extreme you are, 20 yeah. to 40 percent. But I like the composition, nice rule of thirds. The river kind of draws your eye through it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have HDR, fairly long exposure, one third of a second. It's not quite long enough to really get that feathery look in the water. You yeah. want to be at like a second and a half, two seconds at least. Um, the HDR effect, I think, is is well done, and the exposure is nice. Yeah. Overall, That's I think nice. it's a great location. I love the way this log is coming at you. Great spot. Oh. Clearly, they're standing in the water. So I applaud that. That can be hard. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. Great mood on this. Off-camera lighting. You can see there's a light uh, mostly below him there. And that casts really interesting shadows. I love the hood. Great I like pose. It. Fantastic. I, I don't actually think it needs this, but can we just bring up the shadows and the exposure just so I can see his secrets? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, this is a fun thing to do is just to see exactly where he's posing. Okay, he's like against a door or something. Um, I feel like a spy. Yeah, I'm sorry we did that. <laughs> that was Chelsea's fault. Uh, I am going to give you five stars. Oops, wrong key. Five stars. And like I'm going to flag it as a pick. Congratulations. That's our new thing that we do. Nobody <laughs> even told me. I just invented it. I feel like we've seen like three pictures from the same person, oh, don't you think? Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is a stellar picture. That's an ooh for me. It really is. All right, that's perfect. Not gonna mess with that. Five stars. It's a pick. Pick. <laughs> Whoa. This is cute. Yeah, I feel like there's a a juxtaposition here of the kind of ruins here and her like pretty dress and red shoes. I love the red shoes. Um, I want to push her even closer to the edge of the frame though. Like she's perfectly aligned with the rule of thirds. 
Um, but I wish you were even farther over. Uh, so that's my suggestion for a crop. Uh, and overall, I love it. <clears throat> I think what I'd like to see is a little more contrast over here. Because I, to me, at least, this is part of the subject. I think this is the, the style, though. Mm. Well, what I'm saying is I want to draw some more attention to this. And one way to do that would be to bring some more contrast to this area. Hmm. But it's their artistic vision, and I love it. Five stars, pick. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> cobra. I, I like the cobra. I don't like the background because there's a lot of people in glasses. No offense. If, no offense. Yeah, if any of you work at, I don't know, a place that sells eyewear. Anyway, it's <laughs> super stupid. No. <laughs> We're teasing Alexis. This this is a, a cool shot, very cool car. I like the tilt to the wheels. Yeah, the tilt the to the wheels. The lighting and the reflections work really well. The background is distracting. Is wow. That, is that an original Cobra or a kit Cobra, Tony? Oh, um, oh, oh man. Can we make a guess? I'm going to say kit Cobra just because the original is a quarter million dollars. But But look, he's got the logo. Yeah, but those lights have like, maybe it's, I think it might be an original. Tell I, us. Write yeah. it in the comments. Yeah, yeah but I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say kit because the odds are just in my favor. Well, that's And I don't I was, know enough you about know what? it. Don't, don't, don't jump on now. Okay. Look at this kid having a good time. That's a nice picture. That is. I love the backlighting, the ethereal lighting there. Um, Beautiful. I love that it's composed so that her eyes are leading you over here. Great balance to it. Great shot. Pick. <laughs> wow, you're so generous. Uh, black and white locomotive shot. Also a very cool shot. Nice. I love the contrast in it. <clears throat> there, there are some distractions here. These cars are a distraction. Reminds me of America. But as far as you got the shot, I love the, the line of the tracks. I think this is charming. Okay. My eye doesn't settle anywhere. Don't you feel like you wanted to have a focal point and I'm a little distracted by this? But. You've seen him. Cool moth? Cool moth. Um, it's cropped to like 16 by 9 or something for some reason, so I wouldn't mind seeing this pulled in a little bit. Ooh. Wow. Uh, we actually moved through quite a bit of photos. Yeah, we did. I really other... like the still life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Darlene. Good job, Darlene. That's beautiful. The light is gorgeous. Yeah, this is all about the light. Do you have any quick still life tips that you want to throw out? I think she nailed it. Yeah, I think so too. Beautiful shot. Great silhouette. I love the way you framed the sun there. Nicely done, Napster. Napster, remember that? That's it. We did it. We did it. Did we get through them all? Oh. This is the photo that I wish was focused on the subject rather than the photographer. <laughs> oh, that's um, interesting point of view. I love this composition. Cool shot. Stratosphere. I, I don't know. But it's cool. This is cool, too. A very, actually, similar, similar angle. Great colors. Um, I love these building shots. It's it's just a trick people do now, but what? use a neutral density filter. Use like a, a long exposure, like a 30 second exposure. It'll blur the clouds into these lines when the wind moves them. It's a trick people do. I see it. But it's cool. I like it. I like these converging lines. Very cool. Very good. Very fashionable. I like the sexy lady. Yeah. I like this shot. It's I would actually, I would do a little process more post-processing on this. It could be a bit more stylized since since it's kind of uh, a funky shot. Yeah, I might even... You're right, it needs just... Oh, you're going to the preset? Yeah, I don't have any presets on this computer, but um, I just wanted to suggest some other preset uh, processing. Cool vintage glow, funky reds. <clears throat> yeah. Go through some presets. I Pick a cool no, look I would for just it. Mess with the sliders. I like to make my own presets. 
snowy owl. You gotta bring the shadows up. I'm gonna do it. Okay. This you is my it. favorite thing to do. I'll drink. Whoa, look at his eyeballs in there. Bring it back, bring it back. Look at that. It just brings a little life to the photo, I think. Makes me miss my homeland. Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, handsome gentleman. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Uh, I like the mood of it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing a little more of his hair. People with dark hair, you just have to kind of be aware of it. You, you do want to see a little texture there. You don't want it to disappear. Um, this is a single light shot, which is nice, but a, a backlight, a little kicker there would set him off just a little bit. Yeah. And you wouldn't want it to be too much, but it would bring out his hair, the shape of the head a little bit more. I don't know. But it's a great shot. It doesn't Ooh, really need that's anything. That's so cute. Pick. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. This is a beautiful shot. Perfectly exposed. These are nice and bright and white, which is exactly what you want to see. Her expression is great. Shadow detail is fantastic. We got a lot of good pictures. Yeah. Pick. Oh. Why are you looking at me? I was wondering if you had any thoughts on this photo. I just don't like spot color. I don't know why everybody's got to get in on me about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just will... crop the flower out. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that that's better, right? Um, I know but some people like spot I like color. the picture. Great exposure, I, good expression. Great expression, good light. Yeah, no distractions. Oh, okay. I see. I don't actually think that's better. This explains nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she's like gnawing through a fence like, or... Kaylee, stop chewing on that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely... <laughs> the rose itself is a key part of the storytelling. Not a rose, but it's whatever a daffodil. I thought this was very suggestive. Oh, yeah. Right, Richard? Richard thinks it's suggestive. I don't know what you guys think it suggests exactly. Reminds me. Young daffodils? Alan called it something gross. <laughs> this is a bird. Yeah, this, this needs a, a tighter crop. You get a little crazy. I know it works with wildlife photos. People like to see big animals. Um, yeah. Very cool leaves. I love the one overturned leaf. We have a sense of a pattern here, and then the pattern is disrupted. And that's, I've never seen a shot like this before, but I love Ooh. the way you've done it. Disrupted pattern. Disrupted pattern. Great it exposure, great title. everything. Oh, swallows, or maybe merlins, depending on the area, but um, really hard to get. I, I like the use of the line in it. Maybe black and white, since there's not really detail. Yeah, that green water I never really like. Hmm. Better? Better here? Better I can't here. say I like the black and white better. Okay. Well, just, just poop all over my dreams then, Tony. <laughs> I love those birds. Keep working to get closer to those birds. It's tough. Remember when I saved one of these from the road with my raincoat? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, Canada geese. We have some distractions in the background. I think if you're going to do this picture, it just needs a crop. But the lighting's not great for a bird. And But this is a cute little guy. <laughs> he's a cute guy. I do feel like he's about to attack the photographer. Oh, he's missing a foot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What a cruel world we live in. He's so cute. What happened to him? You can tell me a story in the comments. I won't mind. I bet it got stuck in a rock while he was hiking, and then he had to cut it off himself. <laughs> <laughs> then James Franco played him. Beautiful shot. What I definitely was that wouldn't... movie, Richard? 48 hours or something? 128. 128 hours? That's a... 27. 127. 127. That's way more hours than I thought. Um, by the way, in the studio we have uh, Richard, who is an encyclopedia of movie stuff. If you have any movie movie questions, you type it in the comments. Richard. Siobhan will move it over to this thing for us, and we will spring it on Richard suddenly Richard, with no preparation. He knows everything about movies. <laughs> Just throw it at me. See what happens. 
here we have a picture of people taking a selfie. Is that Anthony Bourdain? No, it's me. No. Uh, I'm going to call this street photography and convert it to black and white. Speaking I think that's of movies where it should be. and pictures, C. Murphy Life said if you're into birding or photography, bir photographing birds, check out a movie called The Big Year with Jack Black, Owen Wilson, and Steve Martin. I enjoyed it a lot, and I did too. I thought that was a good movie. Yeah, it, it didn't get great reviews. It got okay reviews, but I really liked it. And if you're into birds, then that's going to push I you over the edge. I really enjoyed it. And you can watch it with your kids, too. spend too much time watching movies and not enough time watching birds. Yeah. I love the symmetry on this photo. I like this photo. I like the symmetry, but they're both making funny faces. Like, she's like, what did I just eat? Just adjusting the exposure a little bit, but... Yeah, I, I like that. Nice shot. But I like that they eat their ice cream at the same pace. Did anyone else notice that? Uh, seem to be going <laughs> somewhere around there. Usually I finish the ice cream first and then look at Tony. <laughs> Did you finish that? Uh, fantastic wow. shot. Incredible detail. Wow. I think this guy is doing my bird studio thing. I'm guessing that because I can see his house and the reflection of the eye there. And there's really no other way to get this close to a bird. Chapter 8 of Stunning Digital Photography describes this. Um, fantastic feather detail, love the colors. That's so beautiful. Looks like a female goldfinch to me. Great shot. Great shot. Five stars, pick. <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, a signs attached to... Garden <laughs> That's tool. funny. It's just, it's the opposite of what we would normally see. Their signs are probably protesting runners or something. But what? no, they're probably encouraging words. Cool shot. Do you feel like this should be black and white? I don't know. I like both. I like the colors of the tools. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. This was handsome. Yeah, that was good. Did you have to give it five stars and pick? Five stars pick. Okay, so I think that uh, we actually got through all those pictures at our outrageous pace. I think we're done. Before Let's I turned off the auto importing, I know people might have sent in other things, but uh, comments or questions for mm -hmm. us? You must have something else, right? Let me refresh. Richard said, "I'm gonna make you a cheeseburger tonight." <laughs> Richard <laughs> said that. No. Uh. It will happen. Um. <laughs> someone said. Killjoy said, "If maybe if you put a cowboy hat on, Tony, his accent will turn back on. Just a thought. <laughs> One thing I like about the South is the word y'all, because we don't have a plural of you in English besides y'all. I say y'all. There is. What? If you, go... if you go to Pittsburgh, they say yens. Yens? Yeah. I've -E never heard that. Y-E-N-Z. It's very weird when you're there. That yep. seems unethical. Y-E-N-Z. So in Spanish, you have like ustedes. Ustedes. And you need it. In English, you need y'all. In English, you have to say like you guys or something outside of the South. And if you say y'all up here, people, they really like, they think about it like, oh. I say it because I'm brave. And Bill Gray said that, we I, could, need that I should word. also say, bless your heart. We're bringing y'all back. <laughs> yeah. Um, what other questions you have for us, Charles? That's it. That's it. We're done. Okay. Cheeseburger. Well, uh. Y'all come back now. Y'all come back Thursdays now. at 5 o'clock Eastern time. We'll review your portfolios and pictures live, cover the latest news and such. Be sure to tell your friends, share, subscribe. And, of course, we have books and videos and stuff, stunning digital photography. We're on Amazon. Only My, tell your good friends. That'll teach you photography techniques. Yeah. It's good. Photography buying guide will teach you the gear you want. And if you don't like books, we have a video training series. I have T-shirts. You have some T-shirts for sale. Oh, only on your like, Squarespace only a store? Couple at ChelseaNorthrop.com, I think. Um, but I don't have many left. Okay. If you can find Chelsea's portfolio at ChelseaNorthrop.com and visit the store, <laughs> then go for it and order a t shirt and we'll send it right out. If you want the books or videos, you can get them on Amazon or go to SDPcommunity.com. The store there ships them worldwide. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Happy shooting. Happy shooting. Camera. New catchphrase. <laughs>